good one, Anne. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this humidity is awful. My hair is totally gonna poof up. Oh, don't worry, Kimberly. It still looks great. Yeah, far out, Kim. Thanks, Angela. Thanks, Helen. Hey, guys, let's go inside and watch some new TV. My dad's got a new 12 inch, and it has colors. Fab idea, Miles. Let's go. Let's The 1970s is known as an era of social change. During this period, fashion, language, television, and society were all revolutionized. A pair of jeans became a symbol of personal identity and is one example of how the 70s culture was one of change and rebellion. Social movements, particularly the anti-war movement, were highly visible on college and university campuses. Mandatory busing to achieve racial school integration, particularly in Boston and other northeastern cities, often led to violence and a disruption of the educational process. On a positive education note, Congress guaranteed equal accommodation access to the handicapped with the Education of All Handicapped Children Act of 1975. Mood rings, lava lamps, Rubik's cubes, smiley face stickers, and pet rocks all captured the imagination of Americans during this decade. Families vacationed in station wagons and everyone wanted an RV. The Vietnam War continued to divide the country even after the Paris Peace Accords in January 1973 put an end to the U.S. military participation in the war. Roe v. Wade legalized abortion. Crime increased despite Nixon's pledge to make law and order a top priority of his presidency. Increased immigration followed passage of the Immigration Act of 1965, which reformed an earlier policy that favored Western Europeans. Women, minorities, and gays increasingly demanded full legal equality and privileges in society. Television examined the social problems and changes of the time. There was a shift from shows that put a spotlight on, ide on idealism to shows that explored the realities of turbulent life. This shift reflected the uncertainties and uneasiness that existed in the 1970s society. Hey Miles, put on CBS. I hear there's a new episode of All in the Family coming out. Ooh, this commercial's the bee's knees. Tired of your old boring jeans? Well, you're in luck. Levi jeans are a new and fun way to express yourself. Whether it's working out or going out to town, Levi's are perfect in any situation. So out the old and then with the new, creative, and exciting way to express yourself. Also available in cutoffs and jackets. Yeah, these jeans really do say something about my personality. They're so hip. <laughs> How many lips does it take to get to the truth to roll center of a toothpaste bar? Well, let's see. One. Two. The world may never know. Miles, I hope you and your friends are watching something educational. <sighs> Fine, I'll change it. Good, I love you, son. On May 4, 1970, unarmed students at Kent State University were shot by the Ohio National Guard. The shootings took place due to anti-war sentiments toward the Vietnam War. On May 1, 1970, an anti-war rally was held on the Commons at Kent State. Speeches were made against Nixon and his Cambodian campaign. A replica of the Constitution was even burned by protesters because of the absence of a formal declaration of war. That evening, the streets were filled with violent protests. Windows were broken, police cars were smashed with bottles, bonfires were ignited, and more. Mayor Leroy Satrum declared a state of emergency and tear gas was used to disperse the crowd. May 2nd, the next day, the mayor of Kent asked Governor Rhodes to send the Ohio National Guard to Kent due to threats made to local businesses and government officials. Additionally, there were rumors that radical revolutionaries were in Kent to destroy the city and the university. Despite government and officials' multiple attempts to inform the campus that rallies were prohibited as of May 3rd, a large rally was held on May 4th on the Commons against the war and against the presence of the guards on campus. After many attempts to get the protesters to disperse, the crowd moved onto the football field. The guards followed and found themselves trapped in the crowd. Between 61 and 67 shots were fired in a 13 second period. Four students were killed and another nine students were injured. The university was closed immediately. Hundreds of universities, colleges, and high schools closed throughout the United States due to a student strike of four million. 
This event further affected public opposition to the war in Vietnam. I remember really clearly what I was doing that day. I think everyone does. I was just walking through the commons and I know that these students weren't allowed to be protesting, but they were unarmed and they were just fighting for what they believed in. We shouldn't have been going to war. We were promised we should have been taken out of war and whatever happened to free speech. And I think those students were just trying to fight for what they thought was true and we never thought it would come to this. It was just insanely violent. Wow. Yeah, guys, that was heavy. It really makes you appreciate everything you have. Yeah, I can't believe you were just laughing at blue jeans and lollipops. I know, right? Guys, let's watch this. In January 1973, a pivotal court case shook the moral standards of the United States. Jane Roe, a pregnant single woman, challenged the constitutionality of the strict Texas abortion laws. These Texan laws made it illegal to obtain or attempt an abortion unless it was necessary to save the mother's life. Roe won the court case on the basis that the Texas laws were infringing on the plaintiff's 9th and 14th Amendments. The right of privacy, based off of the Due Process Clause of the 14th Amendment, extended to a woman's decision to have an abortion. The court balanced the decision of the state's legitimate interests, which were to protect prenatal life. The court ruled that as the pregnancy period increased, the state's rights became stronger. The court balanced the decision by tying state regulation of abortion to the trimester of the pregnancy. This landmark decision allowed for a huge gain in women's rights. Abortion centers became much more easily accessible for single women who were pregnant.